and a good morning to you. So we're getting ready for drilling and uh, we're going to hook the quad track up onto the onto the Vadastat later on. But rather excitingly I, uh, I was going to hook it onto that one, but instead I'm going to hook it onto this one. Nothing like having a new toy to play with. So this is the new model. And uh, we'll have a look a bit later on at where some of the differences are. Fun, isn't it? So, some of the differences we've got uh, LED lighting pretty much all around, and these light, light clusters on the front are different. We've got two sets of lights in each section, as opposed to the, the one set on here. Uh, there's some difference to the to the uh, track units. You can see uh, the moulding there is somewhat different. So I made some changes there. Still got the sight glasses for the hubs. All being uh, different shape now, but so that we still need checking. We've got cameras back and front on the new one as well which is quite handy because uh, you tend to find that that bar across the top there is right in the view line for the front discs on the top down so there's a camera right up the top there now so i'm hoping that that will look down here we have to see that they've changed the spool setup on here completely so it was always if we look over here it's always a little bit of an oddity that these were numbered one, two, five on that side and three, four, six on that side. So now what they've done, a much more logical arrangement. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the good thing is on this that um, whatever you plug into a spool on here, you can decide which lever you want it on in the cab. So uh, if I was to plug in something into number two, but I actually wanted it to be on the first lever in the cab, I can swap that around. So that's really handy. We've got a much bigger hitch on the, on the new one. We've actually had to uh, have a reducer to bring the pin down to the right size for our implements. from that they've not changed a whole lot the uh, the washer fluid bottle used to be inside the um, cabinet on the other side where the isolator switch is and they've moved that now and so now there's a washer fluid up the top there but all the main fluids are all in the same place the big change really is in here we've still got some bits in the cab that we've not fitted yet so this new cab is uh, is something else. Very luxurious. And I think I said in one of the other videos, the big change that they've made really uh, in here, they've changed the information cluster on the pillar. If I just fire that up. So it used to have the cluster that went sort of right down the pillar and was all LCD. Now they've got a rather lovely colourful display with all the main main temps. Oh, just turn it down. And uh, the, another big change is this uh, the command handle now, which 
has changed somewhat. They've now put the auto steer on the handle. Um, we've still got our shuttle forward and reverse. And uh, we can change our gears up and down there. They've added uh, an extra couple of buttons for controlling the spools from the command arm. So, um, got another pair there and then these four are all configurable to really do whatever you want and like I said you can see the spools light up illuminated so as I said if I plug something into spool three for example in the back but I want it on lever one I can uh, chop that round in the configuration and then uh, another big change is this rather lovely Pro 1200 screen bigger and uh, a lot more user friendly I think I've been having a look over it and it does seem to be they've changed some of the controls up top we've got a, a uprated stereo system in here now climate control does what it says on the tin um, pretty much these are fairly similar got our field lights work lights there but we can uh, really configure our lights completely and it's quite handy if we go in a screen and get our main tractor implement setup page it's all laid out really well so we're going to tractor for example and lights now we can uh, really determine what lights we want on what on the two menus We haven't got the guidance set up on here yet, so I can't show you the guidance, but you can see the actual guidance screen. You hate that whirly little thing in the middle. So there's our guidance screen. So that's pretty cool. We've got to get that set up. Like I said, uh, our cameras that we've got on here. That's our rear facing camera. And um, somewhere here is our front facing camera. It's our front facing camera, which is quite low down on the bonnet. That's quite a low view you'll get in there. So that's pretty cool. I've left it on the rear camera because it's just um, quite handy that. I think that's going to be really useful. You can see when you look out the back where that bar goes across. That does tend to sit right in line, as I said, on the, not some, on maybe on the drill as well, but certainly on the top down, those front discs are sort of obscured by that bar. So that camera's going to help. There's various controls here so we can navigate through on the screen. Um, usual thing, so we've got our entertainment, telephone, spools, press that, and then we go to our remote valve page. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really just sort of starting to get my head around it, but it all looks fairly user friendly. Same great view, same lovely comfort. Wonder how long this cream is going to stay this colour though. Oh, and we've got a carpet under here as well. I'm going to take your boots off. Nice bit of carpet. Better mirrors as well on this one. So you can see all electrically adjustable. And this seat is the sort of a higher end leather seat, heating, everything on it. Yeah. How about that? So um, let's uh, see what happens when we get the drill on the back.
is hooked up now. And uh, get ready to go. Not today, but uh, one day long. Everything seems to be in working order. Okay, so we're on the new quad track. It's all very good. And we got the batter stack drill. Eight metre. On the back. We're going to up downs. Done the uh, headland passes. And uh, so now just making my way on my AB lines. Nice new screen. Lots of info. I actually have it quite often on dual screens and such like that. I can put it onto dual screen like that. And, uh, with a camera view on there, maybe. Look at that. Nice new command handle with the auto button there on the handle, which is really helpful. I've made a few changes on here. Um, the spools are all configurable, as I said before, so you can plug in wherever you want on the back and you can swap around where they appear on the levers. So, uh, and you can lock them as well, so you can lock a lever off. So this end one here, if you click it up or down, I haven't got anything on that spool so you can lock that so it won't move. Uh, down here we've got, if I slide this back, so I can select the spool valve quite easily and adjust its pressure here, which is quite good. Um, so I've got, at the minute it's on number five, which is what I've got the fan on. So I can adjust the fan speed notch it up a little bit it's just running a little bit slow so I can just turn it up like that so it's quite handy we've got um, phone and music info on here quick access buttons yeah all very nice I have underneath this cardboard I've actually got carpet in here but I haven't taken the cardboard out yet carpet cleaning for a little bit. That won't last long though, will it? I've changed the uh, aircon controls a little bit. Still got some of my lights buttons up here. And a new stereo system, which is very, very good actually. You can see the drill today. I'm drilling before the weekend. It was so dusty, the drill was just disappearing in the dust. I couldn't see a thing. So I've just put another couple of tonne of barley in there.
Here you go. Morning, so we're just about to start another field. Out here in the middle of nowhere. All the checks done. Everything looks okay. Thumb test. Let's see. Check. Got the feed there. Headland now, and um, I've potted the headland path, and it's created me the three extra passes around the headland. So it's just running in auto now. You can see the green auto symbol telling me that we're active, and that's following that nicely now. So Looking good out the back. So yeah, it's all, um, all pretty good going. All my levels look good. You can see, uh, see the old girls merrily steering their way around the field now. rain this morning, nothing much, a bit more here than back at the farm, that, uh, that line you can see in the distance there is the sea wall, the other side of that is the sea. Another field, I'm just doing the headland passes, and one thing this tractor certainly has is some very nice bright lights. Really good visibility all around, just got to learn how to dim the screen down, yeah? But, yeah, so it's, uh, it's very cozy out here. Controls are nicely illuminated, which is good. Very comfy being out here at this time of night. That's uh, it's always a good thing. Bit of comfort, keep me going for a while. That's it. Good evening. So uh, I'm on one of the one of the bigger fields today. Being kind of 
calm down for a few hours. It's very dusty. It's actually calmed down a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, the ground is so dry. So you can see it's lighting up and down. And uh, it's quite a long field, this one, which is quite nice. I do like to admire the view, and it's going to be a lovely sunset in a bit. Well, here's a lovely sunset now. So we're drilling wheat at the moment. Uh, had the guys out from the suppliers of the uh, new quad yesterday. They came and talked me through a few bits on here, which has been really helpful. It's been a bit of a trial by fire, trying to make everything work, but I think we're getting there. It's quite nice when you get on a long runs like this where you can just sit back and take stock of things a little bit. And uh, make sure everything's working all right. Which it seems to be. So they gave a few pointers, a few things, a few questions that I was asking about. And just general stuff really. So it's not that different from from the uh, from the old quad really. Just uh, really just the computer learning a few new bits on there. The drill runs off its own box, so it's not running on the ISO bus on the screen. Its own Vadastat box to control it. So, really, the, the computer is just really doing everything track to side, not drill side. But yeah, this new screen's pretty good. You can, it's a bit like an iPad, really, so you can adjust your views quite simply. split your views if you want so if I press this button here I can have two different views which is quite handy sometimes it's a bit of a different perspective on things um, got my basic information it's got the camera there looking out the back which uh, isn't really a substitute for looking out the back machine totals here so I can really keep an eye on everything there. A lot of that information used to be up on the A pillar which they've now replaced with a, a really nice clear LED display with the really basic information. Then everything else really is uh, available on this screen. down view there and on this this slot stays here all the time but you can add bits to it um, you can scroll this as you add bits to it you can scroll it up and down more I tend to keep this here because I tend to use the swath number quite a lot just to give a guide of where I am really so yeah it's uh, really enjoying it new command arm's really good. As I said before, we can set up different things on there, but everything's really in one place. It's really is a one-hand operation now. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. So yeah, all happy. So the cab itself, uh, if you've ever been in one of these, you'll know just how comfy the seat is on this. It's, you can really spend hours and hours in it. Got loads of leg room, so you can really stretch out. And uh, in fact, I've got carpet. I think I said underneath the car, the cardboard there. I've not had the guts to take the car cardboard up yet, so I'm you know, keeping the carpet nice for the time being. But that'll that'll soon go. So when I get my boots off, I've got my feet up on the carpet. 
the other thing that the guys did when they came out, they sorted out the telematics, so basically all the field data is all feeding back through to the farm office. And they can also send field data and crop data from the farm office to the tractor as well. And they can log in to the screen and basically see what I'm seeing. It comes up with a message on here that tells me that someone wants to access it and ask if I want to okay it. And if I okay it, they can, they can have a look at the screen. So it's great for fault finding and uh, issues like that.